Okay. So, this is the chapter where we are going to talk about the service oriented architecture and the business process model. So, before we get into the service oriented architecture, let's understand first the business process model. What exactly business process model means? Before I start explaining, I would like, I will give you one question and I would like to know the answer from all of you. What is your level of understanding? The example is, let's say, that uh, I run a school and you are from the administrative department, one of you, and the another person is from the finance department. I call out both of you and say that I need to see the business process model for finance and the administration, that how the administration is working and how the finance is working. I need to know the business process model. What will you understand and what do you present to me when I ask this question? What exactly your level of understanding that what piece of information am I asking from you? Just give your guess, give your best guess, what do you think by that? Uh, th this is Mukta. I'm thinking, you know, it depends on, you know, who you ask. For example, the uh, admissions, if you ask them, they will, you know, probably give you how many number of people applied, how many people got accepted, uh, you know, how many people uh, paid, how many people are getting um, some kind of financial aid. Okay, um, let me put it this way. Those kind of things. Let me simplify the question for you. Let's say you are a manager from the administration department. And now I am asking you to give me the business process model. What will be your understanding at what you will present it to me? I think I'll find you a SME so you can monitor the process or give you, I'm not sure if that department has a, something like a BRD. You can read it by yourself. <laughs> can you repeat the last part, please? Huh? So, like a document, give you the current document of the of the business model, the finance department document. So, what what piece of information you will include? What key information you are going to showcase yeah. as part of that finance document? What yeah, details? What I have in mind is only BRD. What you have in mind is? BRD. BRD. Okay. So, okay, I take that and I will, so I'm just going to write it, okay? I think it would be a model. It would be a model of uh, how the business process is conducted with the team members. Mm -hmm. explaining the number of team members uh, acting on each stage and uh, from start to end what are the processes will happen and how they uh, execute a project. A model which would say about the business process from start okay. to end. So one person says BRD, another person says that end-to-end -end activity, uh, right? End-to-end -to -end, uh, stages of a process. Okay, so end-to-end -end stages. Anything else? Any other suggestion or the guess? You guys can do it. You guys, folks I, can make I it. would say different processes that one particular department handles. All the processes. All the processes. By uh-huh. Okay. Anything needs to be added? Okay. So here's the thing. Your business process model. You all understand what the business process model is. 
and this is exactly what is written over here when you talk about BRD it can be your future your BRD is always your future that's when you write the BRD right yes you incorporate oh, sorry, the, sorry, the current yeah. business process oh the Go. Ah, okay, never mind. Go ahead. Go on, go on. I want to hear it. I probably confused the document. Like it's a document for the current business, like some kind of official document, like the scope document, or I can't remember something like shows the current business. No, Maybe. so that's what I was coming to. Okay. But you don't create a business requirement document just to document the current scope. You create the business requirement document to successfully implement the future requirement but you do include the current flow to clarify which are the impacted area. So in your business requirement document you create it always for the future implementation because that's what the it's a requirement document. When right. it becomes your only current tell me something are you ever going to create a business requirement document for the current flow just for the current flow what exists today no you will never do that because then that will become more of our knowledge base or the operational asset it would be the document which uh, which is documented for the doc, uh, which is documented for the current flow which encompasses all the key information what is happening as of today that would become the operational asset which can be referred in future to know that how the current business is running but that will never be treated as a business requirement document because that's not a requirement document no one is going to use that to say that okay I'm going to implement this taking this is a requirement because it's already in place are we on the same page so far yes okay let's take the second yes. point which says the end-to-end -end stages if I document end-to-end -end stage for let's say for the administrative department is it going to give me the complete business process model is it going to give or let's say if I add all the processes there because number two and number three I don't see much of the difference it just one is talking about the process another one is talking about the final state after the process is executed so two and three goes hand in hand so there is not much difference in these two I see so if I combine all the process and the stage, is it going to give me the complete process model? You will be able to understand everything about that, whether the business is successful or not doing so good, whether it is running in uh, loss or it is doing very good business. How many people are there? If I take any decision, how many people will be impacted? Is it going to give me all these information? It's not. Always remember your business process model have a various definition. And when I say the various definition means at given point of time considering the requirement what piece of information you are looking for that's what matters. But at the same time you need to provide the information as a whole. When I say as a whole means everything. So I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm trying to buy a business. When I say I'm trying to buy a business, let's take a Dunkin' Donut for example. I'm trying to invest in Dunkin' Donut and someone is already running and that person is that owner is trying to sell off his Dunkin' Donut and I'm the buyer who is planning to buy that. The first question I would ask that person is show me the business process model. Then what are the things that particular business process model will include? That process model will include the start to end, day to day activity, the number of starts, all the financials, all the gain and the loss, cash flow, expenses, inventory, 
A to Z about that particular business so that me as a buyer get an idea what I am stepping into. So that is one side of a business process model where me as a buyer trying to buy a business. On the other hand, let's take an, another example. Just now we reviewed the uh, the patient and the hospital setting, the UML which we were reviewing for the state chart and the other diagrams. Let's take that example. If I am the CEO and I am running one of the, for example, I am running one of a adult care or a senior citizen care, rehab kind of a thing, then what happens? If I am the owner and I ask one of the manager or the administrator who is appointed to see day-to-day -day work that can you bring that complete business process model how this is working then what will happen that maybe the manager can ask what exactly you are trying to get out of it because he may not have that much bandwidth and the knowledge to prepare A to Z about that business because the business is so big so he may say that are you looking for any particular piece of information or you are looking as a whole so that owner can say that okay no I'm looking a particular operation that okay to see to assess that is there any room for me to reduce the cost reduce the administrative cost so now the manager knows which are the area he has to explore which is the key information he has to bring in on the table when he present his business process model so now even though it is a business process model but it is a smaller subset of the overall business but still it is a business process model or let's say he want to see that how the transaction is happening just the process flow so in that case you may not necessarily add all the piece of information you just create a flow and then present it that how each application is interacting with each other what are the gateways used what are the software used that is also a business process model but that is a different type of business process model but again it is explaining you how the business process model works this is exactly what the BPM is all about so BPM encompasses all these piece of information on the other hand you can have some modeling tools some data models some application models the process model all these things together or all these things as an individual you can have it represented as a business process model. Any uh, question on can this? Can you summarize it in one statement? The business process model have a various definition depending upon the requirement your process model is going to differ. Your process model definition altogether is going to change that if I am looking for the architecture business process model then I am looking for all the gateways downstream upstream all the interfaces those things but if I am looking as a whole, as a corporation, my business process model will be altogether different. No. If I am looking at the, uh, the Duncan Dunnett example which I gave, if I am looking at that then it includes all your cash flow, cash flow financial, day-to-day uh, -day activity, the processes, input and output which are contributing to the day-to-day -day processes, everything is part of your business process model. So there is no single word you can elaborate the business process model. It could be just the model as a model uh, graphical notation or it could be well elaborated theoretical document with all sorts of statistical data including your diagrams. So I got a question. Yes. So it's, it's about the processes, it's not about the finances, correct? No, it's not. Okay, so I mean even if it is for a finance uh, department, it is about how they process mm -hmm. right. things rather than what is the input, what is the output, like you know, what, how much is coming in and what's prof profit and loss and income statement, it's not about that. That's it's a about very tiny how piece they of go about finding, right that is a very tiny piece of information for your business process model correct it's not it's not the details it's about the process right it's about the process that how you achieve that 
that we, what you are referring is the statistical numbers. You generate the report, you get the statistical number. But the, is that going to give you how did you arrive to those numbers? No, so it's the process of... Yes, it's a process. See, pay attention to the P and the M. Model is means model. If I give you that, okay, show me the bus model, what you will do? You will sketch and you will represent. And then if I say the show me the process, you will take each of the object and you will explore and the elaborate the process how the overall bus is going to work, right? So for any business, that's what the B is for. Lay out the process, denote all the processes and show the model. And what is your model? Your geographical notation is a model. It's a prototype. At the same visual time, visual representation. Yes, and that's what the so BPM you lay out, about. You lay out the process. You denote the process uh, with the working style, and uh, the model will be the visual representation of of those processes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are we clear on this? Yes. Okay. Great. So this is what the business process model and the, so now we are going to continue with the service oriented architecture. But this chapter is going to talk about all these two topics. So I just wanted to, before we get into it, I just wanted to just summarize that. Okay. So this is 